One in four people under hospice care in the U.S. is a veteran. Which is why hospice professionals across the country are on a mission to better serve them. We Honor Veterans is a program for hospice care centers that recognize the unique needs of America's veterans. CTN Steve Anta shares the story of one veteran in the program. Well, I've been carving since junior high. At 89, Mike Woody Woodhouse still enjoys finding life in tiny blocks of wood. When you carve something yourself, it's designed the way you want it to be. He remembers the good times, like when he first met his wife, Ruth, of 67 years. I met her at Horseshoe Lake. It's just south of Richmond, Minnesota, which is uh, west of St. Cloud. Back in 1943, Mike enlisted in the United States Navy and served in the South Pacific during World War II. He operated a water taxi service for personnel from ship to shore. I love the Navy. I'd be still there if they... But some of those stories from the past are hard to talk about, and that's why the National Hospice and Palliative Care Organization has partnered with the Department of Veterans Affairs to develop the We Honor Veterans program. The program aims to help hospice organizations across the country understand the importance of serving veterans based on their preferences for care and service. So it's important for us in the medical field and, and for me as a social worker to be able to um, understand what's gone on for them in terms of wartime trauma and how that affects them again at the end of life. Mary T. Incorporated is a proud We Honor Veterans partner. They are one of nearly 60 hospice providers in Minnesota who cater to the special needs of all veterans who've served our country. Now our staff is going through you know, learning about the different wars and, you know, just becoming more um, knowledgeable about some of the um, plights of the specific veteran that we have. Working together with veterans to guide them and their families to a more peaceful ending. Better slow down a little bit. Wait for him to show up. Steve Antis, CTN News. They know where you at, though.